Uh, welcome to part 9 and uh, now we'll continue to implement the service logic without further ado um, let's start okay next method will be dedicated when a post request will be sent that's why I will call it uh, create task so uh, this will take again a request task request uh, task create request as a parameter. Of course, this will also um, display then a task DTO. Okay. Uh, okay. So, first we need to check um, when someone wants, to, when the client wants to create a new task, first we have to check if there is already a task with this description. That's why we need again the repository. And you remember the method we created before in the repository class, does description exist? Now let's jump back to it. We will use this and take the request, the, the description of the request and check it. And if this method returns a true, then we will throw a bad request. Uh, exception that this task already exists. So, I will say there is already a task with the description ah. so no I'm just a bit confused. Request and uh, script, not priority. The description and ASIF. Uh, yeah, we can leave it like this. I think I have here a typo, so just copy paste. And this is good for now. And yeah, if there is already a task with this kind of description which the client wants to create, we will throw a bad request ex uh, exception, otherwise we will create a new task entity. So our task is task. And we'll use our mapping function again. Uh, mapping. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Mapping from request to entity. Uh, this is the method we created in the video. The video before this one and just say first pass the task second the request and okay that should be done by now and now we use our repository we have thanks to JP thanks to JPA repository we have already implemented the safe method just pass here the task and but we need it in a local variable so I would say introduce a local variable by the way I just click on alt enter on Mac and I would say we call it uh, save task okay nice and as you can see this will save a task for us but to make sure this is a task also from the type task we can just uh, write it that way to imply it and uh, yeah then next just return it say mapping uh, entity to DTO pass the save task that's it and uh, yeah I think this line break is unnecessary okay mm, let's move on the next method will be a little bit more complicated, not complicated, but there will be a little bit more logic. Uh, this method is uh, will be used when a patch request is sent to the endpoint. And so let's call it fun update. Uh, yeah, a bit. Uh, update task request task update request. And this will also throw, also this will also give us a task DTO. 
so 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 uh, yeah first we need to check if there is already this kind of task in the table so that's why we use check task for id uh, now I uh, I am I forgot to say um, this endpoint will be used with an ID like um, API slash update slash ID. Um, also, this this is the reason why we need here as well uh, as an ID parameter. Let's type long. Uh, yes. Now check task ID. And as you can remember, this will do the check here. Uh, because we need to check if you want to update the task, then should be already this task, you're just updating some properties. Uh, now let's um, say repository, find task ID, test ID. Here we also need, um, this will also be needed as a local variable. And I would say call it existing task. Task. Nice. Enter. So, of type task, of course. Uh, I just add these things it's just for readability purposes. Okay. Um, now we want to iterate through all the member properties of this um, certain uh, object of the task update request. And we want to check which fields need to be changed and which fields are staying the same. And we'll do this with a for loop um, prop in task update request. And here we need it will iterate through all the member variables. That's why we need just class and uh, member properties. It should be, uh, yeah, should be member properties. Say if if there is a property with uh, which has this kind of. Request. By the way, I will just code it. I will just briefly. Um, I will explain it a little bit more detailed when I coded this out because I'm really not good at multitasking, to be honest. Um, no field. So type field, which gives gives us an optional when we use the reflection method here. Uh, reflection. Utils find field. Oh my god. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Europe, uh, class Java prop name. Uh, which kind of field this is? Need to just quickly look it up. Field. Which kind of field? Reflect it to field. Okay, should be the first one. Okay, nice. Okay, this is done because it's an optional here. We will just say let check if there's really not this is a safe unwrapping way by the way with let you can also use run or apply and so on but we use now uh, let the iteration field is accessible equals to true and then we say again reflection utils set field take the existing task 
and say this property gets to fetch the property, needs to be updated from the request. Okay. Okay. And now we need to return, of course, something. And we'll just say again repository save the existing task. And of course, we need to have a local variable. Um, I will call it again save task. And just for readability purposes, I just uh, add also the type so everyone knows which kind of task and which kind of type this type task is. And just say again return mapping entity to DTO and give the saved task. Okay, nice. And uh, yeah. I think I will also stop the video here and I will um, explain what we did uh, here in a bit more detail in the next video and then we will also add uh, the method for debating a task. So stay tuned, uh, give me a comment, uh, like and subscribe, you know the drill and see you soon.